Hey everyone, Chris here from Real Ride Share Stories. And Dustin from Dustin is Drag. All right, we got another joint video for you because as we were doing our last video, uh, we just had a new thing pop up when it comes to what is going on in the Uber and Lyft world. And this is something really interesting and uh, something that riders can actually use in order to get a cheaper ride. And it's called wait and save. So. As it sounds, it sounds like if you wait for your ride a little bit longer than normal, you'll save some money. So Dustin, what's your first few thoughts on that, that Lyft is trying to do? My first few thoughts is, holy smack of it, Lyft. What are you doing? Obviously, people are going to be waiting for rides anyway. So I guess right now they're trying to make a little extra money by making them wait. I don't understand. I guess it just guarantees that they're going to have rides so that way these people are going to wait. But why wait if they're still Uber? I don't understand their logic in this. It's just kind of crazy. To me, it sounds like they need money. True. Well, I do know the one thing that is going on. There are several areas that are ha uh, still having rides requests come in because it's essential workers. It's people who need to go get their essential uh, like their food, go to the grocery store and, and stuff like that. Um, so there are still rides coming in and there's less drivers that are driving out there right now. So it looks like the demand actually may be higher than the supply and they're just trying for to once. have more drivers. <laughs> huh? Yeah. They're, they're trying to have one. more drivers on and I've come across a couple of emails that were sent to me. I don't know if you've gotten the same where it'll show that, uh, they get an email from Lyft saying, your rides are essential and please log in for uh, a little bit higher than normal average uh, when it comes to rides and things like that. So With Uber, I have seen that, but with Lyft, sadly, I'll never see that again, member, because I'm no longer with oh. them. Well, I didn't, know if one, I didn't know if one of the subscribers may have sent it to you because that's where how I got it because apparently I, my area, I haven't gotten that. Um, and I, I really haven't kept up on the amount of drivers that are actually out there. Although I will turn on the um, rider app every once in a while, like I just did a little bit ago to see if this wait and save thing was there. And it wasn't yet. So it looks like it's only in certain markets, although I'm sure it's probably going to roll out to a lot of different markets uh, unless they have enough uh, drivers to meet those demands, then they might not. Um, so I don't know. I mean, my market is very strange when it comes to it because even though it's a small market, there's still a good demand for whether you be a rideshare driver, a delivery driver, a shopper. Uh, we're still seeing some good stuff, although those damn Instacart bots are getting the better of it now. So it looks like it has infiltrated our market, but... <laughs> dun, dun, dun! Yeah. So I'm going to get, show an article right now. I'm going to put it on screen. And then again, Dustin, if you want to chime in and say anything on this, uh, then let me know and just, just chime in. So yeah, it's, uh, this is from The Verge. Link will be in the description below. So if you want to read this article, you absolutely can. Uh, and it says, Lyft's wait and save a ride offers a cheaper fare for essential trips. The more patience you got, the cheaper the ride. I don't think it's free though. So um, don't expect that. <laughs> uh, so it says, if your region is under a stay-at-home guideline, best to avoid using rideshare apps like Uber and Lyft, but not everyone has that option. Both companies suspended shared rides and carpooling during the pandemic as a safety precaution. Some people who need rides are finding themselves without uh, left without more affordable, reduced fare ways of getting to their destination. And I think this is also to try to help combat how many people there are when it comes to uh, low income, because there are a lot of low income areas that service Uber and Lyft, especially when it comes to shared rides. And they shut that down long ago because they're trying to help flatten that curve and stop the spread. Uh, pardon the puns, but that's pretty much what everybody's trying to do. So now we got something called wait and save. But yeah, and that's also right. Like you said, the low income, those people sadly, you know, may not have a vehicle or they might live in a market where, having a vehicle was actually more of a burden. So there were so many options with Uber, Lyft, and other modes of tra transportation that it was so easy to get to work, and now they can't because all those are like closed down and the drivers don't want to go out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And then saying, Lyft is trying to offer up one solution by expanding its wait and save ride option to cover most riders in the U.S. and Canada. Uh, I love the how they said most. <laughs> yeah, most. It, 
And it says more riders than ever will see wait and save as an option in the Lyft app alongside the standard ride models. Riders who choose wait and save will always pay less than they would for a standard Lyft ride. And typically, the longer they need to wait, the more they will save. Uh, I don't know how much, though, it's going to be down. So, like I said, I know, I right? What is it, saving pennies? Is it going to save you a dollar? Or, you know what? I don't know. You know what I think it's going to end up being is something kind of comparable to a shared ride. So I don't think you're going to see um, anything less than that. I don't think you're going to, it's probably going to be something where uh, if you finally have the ability to get in queue and then when yours comes up, uh, then you'll be able to get in and it's probably going to bring it down to the shared rate ride. Um, I don't think it's going to go lower than that. I think it's going to be an option where these riders are going to be able to, um, you know, get that, that type of ride share. Because like I said, um, some are in low income areas and then. Oh, that's where and think about this though, as well. These people that even though you're going to opt into this wait and save thing, you know how impatient people are, you know what I'm saying? People didn't even like, um, what express pool when you actually had to walk to a different location to get picked up. Mm -hmm. So now that these people know that they're ordering a wait and save ride and the, with the driver's still taking too long and everything else, I see a lot of false reports still coming in on this that are probably gonna end up screwing drivers over because they're gonna get mad. It's gonna say, well, it said you were gonna wait 20 minutes, but I had to wait 30. It's like, not my fault, you know? It, it, I don't know what the app's telling you, but I'm still on another ride. I gotta do what I gotta do. True. The thing is, though, I don't think they're going to pair the driver to the rider right away. I think if you click that wait and save option, I, and this is just me speculating, I could be completely wrong, because like I said, I don't know what it's going to look like. But um, it looks, oh, I can actually, there might be in here, um, in this spot, but it looks like maybe you'll go into a queue or something. But here, let me see. More riders than ever will see wait, save as option, lift app alongside the standard ride modes. Riders who choose wait and save will always pay less than they would for a standard lift ride. Typically longer they wait, the more they will save. Company wrote on its blog today. This allows for the rider to be matched with the best located driver. Of course, for riders that need a quicker pickup, standard lift ride is still available and ETAs are always shown in the lift app. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it's, I'm wondering if it's gonna go into a queue or something. So they're, they're gonna say, if you wait, wanna wait and there's somebody around here, then we can finally get you, get you there. Um, but yeah, that, that they may not give a ETA time on that when it comes to the wait and save, but they may for the regular standard ride. I don't know. And it's also almost seems like it says for riders that need a quicker pickup, you know, there's always still, you can order a, nor a normal lift is still available, right? But that, so I wonder if that means if you go ahead and get in that queue and they're going to say the wait's like astronomically longer than really what it really is just to force you to take a normal lift ride. Yeah. It seems like, I mean, it obviously just th this article just came out yesterday. I haven't seen it. Um, from anybody showing me in their app, you said you didn't have it in your app yet. So we don't have any actual what it looks like in the app yet. And I have not heard a single driver take this type of ride yet. So yeah, technically, all, all this is speculation right now, but this is just crazy. The simple fact, didn't they also have in that article that Uber gives free rides to its essential employees? So in a mm -hmm. way, why would you even want to take a weighted, wait and save Lyft ride when I could just take a free Uber ride? Well, I think for, for Uber, I think it's for frontline workers. So that would be essential workers for themselves. But this is for people who are in need of getting around. So if you're going to the grocery store. Is Lyft store doing to, that too then? Is Lyft giving I, out the free essential rides? I'm not sure. I don't remember. I mean, there's so much information that's been coming out I, from Uber and, and Lyft recently. It. that They keep I have taking no everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything changes with the wind. The wind blows to the left. Oh. Yeah. So wrapping up. Nope. <laughs> so wrapping up, what are your final thoughts on this wait and save whole thing when it comes down to it? I might have to wait and see what my thoughts are in the end when we actually see how this all happens in the app. But to me, it just seems like another PR stunt and them trying to make money. They didn't say jack about the driver making any more money. And I think more problems might 
potentially happen to the driver because these passengers have to wait longer. They're probably going to be grouchy in a bad mood or something. Yeah, who knows? It's going to be pretty interesting nonetheless. So, all right, I'm going to uh, just sign off and then Dustin, you can take the, the actual sign off. So uh, this is Chris from Real Ride Share Stories. And Dustin from Dustin is Driving. Make sure you check that description below for extra information and tips. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the little bell icon. That way you get notified when we come out with videos. Be safe, get your money or save your money. And until next time guys, order a safe ride or don't. Peace out. Thank you.